hello everyone welcome back with another video if you are not subscribe my channel please click the subscribe button and bell icon to get the latest updates on power bi videos the main motive of this video is to help the business users to choose the different conditional formatting which they would like to see in the reports let me show you the report so this is a simple report where i have applied the conditional formatting on the background color and also added the icon sets so let's see from the business user perspective in case if they want to see the different conditional formatting colors or the icon sets then as usual we have to take this report into power bi desktop and do the changes and display to the end users instead of doing that if you give you the capability to end user itself like uh, choose whatever they need and then that can be immediately applied which means will will help end user to choose whatever they need they no need to depend on any developers to modify whatever they need so i have created one page called customization so this is a page that we can display to the users here there are different options so for a demo i have placed three different options so whatever is selected you can see option 3 is selected so which has this color palette uh, on the conditional formatting background color and these are the icon sets let's see if user wants to choose or see these colors and these icon sets they can choose option 1 and once they have selected you can see the selection is made they can go back to the report and you can see all the colors are changed based on the selection the similar way they can choose whatever option they need the selection will be uh, highlighted and which means they have selected this particular option within this option this is the color and this is the icon set so the same will be applied on the report let me show you how this is possible so i have created this in power bi desktop so if you see here so this is a page that i have enabled for business users so this customization i have given you uh, given the business users to see what this page about and what they really can do in this page right so basically this is kind of a slicer if you see this is the slicer where i have kept three different options option 1 option 2 option 3 if you see the slicer this is the uh, sorry visualization this is the slicer and i am taking one of the field from this config table and if you see this is the kind of a uh, shapes so i have created a square kind of a shape and uh, and i played uh, i mean I've applied the different colors so whatever selection is made that is going to display as kind of a yellow color with a red color border and rest all is going to be kind of a light gray right uh, so this is again based on this uh, fill option so here you can see conditional formatting is possible so here if you see the conditional formatting i have created a measure called selection highlight option 1 and uh, the similar way i have created multiple measures if you see this is the first measure so the syntax of this measure is if selection equal to option 1 so basically i have created one uh, measure called selection so there i am trying to capture what is a uh, selection which is made on this particular slicer right so selected value config option and if i go to here so if the selection is option 1 i just want to show this background color as this kind of a yellow and if not then this is going to be a light gray so that's how i created three different measures because i have placed three different shapes and you can see only the difference is the collect, uh, selection option 1 and 2 and 3 rest all is going to be same and in the similar way uh, since i need to show a kind of a highlighted uh, border i have created another set of meshes just to show the uh, red color for this whole uh, boxes so that's the reason i have created this now everything is ready like in terms of uh, slicers and boxes are ready and we have applied the uh conditional formatting for each of these uh, boxes so each of these boxes and each of the outline on, on on the boxes so here you can see conditional formatting is applied and the next i have created a simple uh, image with whatever color that i am going to show in the report or table so, and i have added the icon set and here you can see uh, i have placed the three different images on each of these box and based on the selection only that particular box will be highlighted so this is simple so you can configure like this in case if you need multiple uh, options then you can slightly reduce the size and can add multiple boxes and you can have multiple uh, different colors and icon sets and if i go to main page here this is the main table here uh, i have sales amount and then uh, sales icon 
so here as usual uh, you know how to apply the conditional formatting go to conditional formatting and go to background color so here i have selected a field value instead of the other two option color scale and rules i have selected field value here i am referring one of the measure called the background uh, background color so if we go to background color so this is a measure here i am uh, using switch option and if the selection is option 1 and if the range is within this percentage and i am just showing you the i mean showing the uh, background low color so these are different uh, uh, columns from uh, the config table so since i have i want to uh, maintain in a central place i have created a table let me show you the table so this is the table and here you can see i have placed these three different options so this is the column that i have used for the slicers and uh, for uh, as i want to show different icons uh, for uh, different ranges right low medium and high i have created three different columns just to show the icons for uh, option one if the icon is low sorry if, if the value is less or least then i need to show this sign low so this is how i created i mean i got the icons so if you refer uh, uh, reza uh, radak had a blog post here he explained what is the individual icon name that how you can refer in your measures so this is the one that i have referred to uh, to identify all the icon names and here uh, i'm just interested to show only the flag and then uh, the circle option and then this uh, symbol option right so i have added this into a, a table with the different uh, namings so this name will refer one of the icon so like that i have got all the names and then uh, uh, for background color again i have created three different columns since uh, i want to show three different ranges low medium high and i have created the hot coded color coding here right so now i created the uh, background color uh, uh, measure so here i have referred the minimum of uh, uh, particular uh, background low medium and high because we have three different combinations right so option one option two option three and each has uh, three different uh, ranges so that's how I created a background color and if you see I concert in the similar way I'm just calling the uh, respective column to show the icons so these two columns are used on the conditional uh, uh, conditional uh, formatting so if you go to icons here you can see so not this one this is a one conditional formatting icons okay here you can see I'm referring I concert so everything is done and uh, only one thing is like so here we have added a slicer so we need to make sure this slicer is synced across all the pages wherever we are going to refer that particular uh, uh, background color and icon sets on the table so here uh, uh, as you know we have sync slicer option so i have uh, selected the slicer and i make sure to uh, uh, apply the slicer uh, slicer selection on all the pages here i have so I applied the sales summary i don't want to display the slicer so that's the reason this is unchecked and but uh, whatever selection that i made uh, on this page this will be applied on this sales summary page so that's how uh, that's how uh, whenever i use the uh, uh, value min of it is going to show it is already picking that uh, option one that particular row so this particular row out of this particular row it is automatically picking up all all of this value uh, when i say min and it is going to display uh, that uh, particular conditional formatting on this table so like this you can design your uh, uh, table like a config table or whatever and uh, you can add whatever column and wherever you see a uh, kind of a conditional formatting where it supports uh, uh, supports the field value or a measure you can uh, do this kind of a uh, customization and you can allow users to choose whatever they need right so this will impress the business user okay i have the flexibility to choose or uh, see whatever color coding i need or whatever icon says that i need i can do uh, by myself so this will this will help the business users because their preference may be uh, different for each one of them right so they can choose whatever they need and they can see the uh, respect to uh, formatting applied on the same tables so if you like this video please click the like button and uh, i will share this power bi file in my github repository so you can download it and you can make use of this thanks again